Hi Zamers, this is Divkin Ravle here. Welcome back to my show. Today we are going to discuss about the most easiest and the simplest way to create a AR application. Let's get started. Let's create a new project and uh, create. Uh, I'm going to create a uh, forms application. Uh, no, actually I'm going to create a, a single view page application. This is for AR, so it's better to create a, um, a native application. Sorry, I said Xamarin Forms before, but this is going to be about the, the native application, but using Xamarin and C Sharp, of course. So let's create only the iPhone and uh, let's give it some name. AR1, for example, and uh, the organization identifier as AR1. And let's say first AR and uh, let it be iOS 12. And by the time you're seeing this video, we currently have AR Kit 2.0 available, so it should still be using that uh, that power of AR Kit as well. So I'm going to demo it on iOS uh, phone, so it's going to be an iPhone X. So let's get started. So let's close that and um, yeah so the very first thing i usually do is just to see if uh, we, ha we have to update any of the new packages let's get started looking into it and then now uh, we'll add uh, any of the packages that we need in this case we need oho shop and that's going to be oho shop but that's the one so as you can see there are a few available so i'm going to use these uh, uh, OHA shop so if you are working on forms you can use this so as of now I'll be using this one let's add that and the current version, version is 1.8.93 so let's add and that's been added now and you can see the packages has OHA as well and OHA shop okay the very first thing I want to do on this is to delete the all the unnecessary files so I'm going to delete my my in storyboard don't need a view controller and delete all the not even uh story launch screen as well so let's remove that and it's pretty much clean so let's go back to the settings here um sorry we should be going to the info playlist and remove the main here Okay, let's remove all that and it requires full screen, high status bar. These are general settings that we do, really don't have to, but it's good to have it. So let's get started on this. Let's build again. Let's see if there are any errors. All good. So the very first thing, go to app delegate. Okay, we have a window, we need to set that up. So let's go and do that. So let's go window equal to new ui window and so obviously the most default ones ui screen dot main screen dot bonds okay now you, you know the reasons why i have I had to delete those uh, um storyboards and other v controllers the reason is like i'm going to create my own so i'm going to say root element and i'm going to create a new root element on this one so i'm going to make use of the dialog view controller in this case so i'm going to create my own so let's go and create so new root element so i'm going to resolve its name uh, so root element Okay, so the very first thing we need to do to get this working is I almost forgot we need to go to the references and uh, go to the all of them and we need to look for something called as mono touch dialog. So let's add that and use that. Okay, let's give it a name. Just say Photoshop, for example. Okay, now what I want to do is with the window property go and set root view controller equal to new dialog controller okay and i'm going to set that to a root, root element here which i've just created so i'm going to create a section and i'm going to give it a new section 
and I'm going to give it a, a caption of AR kit. Just get that right, and I'm going to footer. I'm going to call my name. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, and now what do we do? Like we need to add that uh, root element and add and let's call that section here okay and now in the section i want to create a string element that actually points to my ar okay and for that let's go and add it and let's say new string element and let's say first ar kit demo okay and now let's create a let's call a run method which i don't have yet so i will be calling that one pretty soon i will be calling my own uh, for example test ar app for example okay and let's close that okay i'm going to create a run method and i'm going to pass my ar app as well so let's create a method and it has created a generic of type t and what i'm going to do is like i'm going to inherit this particular run method from or her sharp dot application okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm create a variable called app equal to or dot application dot create instance and that's going to be a generic one so i'm adding the generic one so that if i create any new uh any other sample or a test that i want to work on the ar that i can just simply add a string element so this is one of the examples that i have taken it from the uh, existing uh, application so i'm going to create an application options there and um, just close that for now okay so to for, for us to run this application we need to say something like app dot run and the apps will start running okay and um, we should say this as void because we are not we, are, we won't be returning anything and uh, we need to create a file called test ar app in this case i'm just going to create on top on the root folder and create a new and a class name and just say it give it a name and the, now what happens is like there are two classes that we can call here we can call application uh, or we can call a simple application okay when i say application this is not a xamarin application we are supposed to be calling a, a orha sharp application for example if i go and uh, Open it it's going to point to the first AR like our, our own application class but the in the in the thing for example if you go to the declaration this is actually calling this main class so that's not what we want to call you want to call our or shop application so let's say or dot application and that's going to give us that reference but we are after something called a simple application because that creates some default applications for us and we will make we will be making use of them okay let's create a constructor that it wants and uh, this is an uh, <coughs> something that we need by default okay we're going to preserve it and leave it like that for now okay and now what we need to do is to start any any or her application we need to give we have an overridable method which is called start and this is where our actual application starts as well okay just to be sure let's give it try catch before you forget so throw exception okay now so what i want to show on the on the screen is a spear and that will be shown on the on top of the uh, uh, when the app is open with a uh, in a real world okay and now i'm going to call it as a spear node I've discussed about all this uh, uh, 
uh, scene or cameras and the nodes and about all the nodes in a different video that's uh, comparing the application class and the simple application class in a different video when you get a chance please go to it that will explain why we have to create uh, why we don't have to create any scenes or anything or cameras that we need but uh, yeah go through that video and I'm creating a, a sphere no node using the scene uh, uh, property here and let's go sphere now a scene node and uh, here I'm going to call a sphere node and I'm, I'm going to give it a position of a new vector and that's pretty much on the center let's give it as 0 0 0 just a 0 0.5 as a float okay with that that's that's taken care of and uh, a sphere node of uh, scale so let's set a scale and uh, let's give it just one 0.1 f okay now i want a sphere now so i've created a node here but i that it doesn't really know if it is a sphere or a square or a plane or anything so oroha shop has the that uh, uh, ability to create a sphere which are which are built into it so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm take, going to take this sphere node and i'm going to create a component out of it okay and the component is easier so all i need to do is just say sphere and that's it so let's resolve its name call the namespace and it's now component is created all we need to do is like give it a um, sphere dot some color to it and let's say color dot red for example okay now we have our sphere and we, what we want is uh, an AR kit component that actually shows you on the camera and when the app is open the camera is open and then you're going to show it as the the sphere will be shown on the screen so all I need to do is I want to create a a R component. Okay, and I have to create a component out of a scene because that's a top level node. Okay, let's create a component, and here this is very good, just like sphere. That's all you need to do. So what I'm going to do is that's a component called A R Kit Component okay let's resolve this that's uh, using oho shop ios okay now that's there okay this reason why i have to create a, a, a native xamarin ios project instead of the the forms project okay because this component is actually available in the ios, or iOS only okay and now so i'm going to set some default values i'm going to say ARKit component dot orientation for example I want to give a dot let's give it a bit right okay um, okay now ARKit of I'm going to give it a AR configuration for example so I'm going to give it a plane detection as a horizontal and if it will detect its uh, uh, AR, AR wall tracking configuration which in this case I'm going to give its plane detection as the horizontal so new AR wall tracking configuration okay and now let's resolve this one first if I get got all the spellings correct uh, it should be AR and let's try to resolve yeah using AR kit. so i'm making use of an AR kit now okay so plane detection i'm going to make it as ar plane detection dot horizontal okay now we got that set up and all we need to do is uh good the one more one last thing so run engine frame ar kit callbacks i don't really understand this one but uh, there's something we need to do and delay start and uh, the R kit component dot one. So that's the best 
we can do let's see what this is delayed start this with this vision of Hosha will not start the rendering loop when run is called okay the state of, state of the delayed start use this option if you want to prevent the main loop from running immediately okay so it's going to start it's not going to start immediately it's going to wait for some time and it is going to load as the uh, one when it is ready okay so let's close that and um, run build this first okay that's built and now what we need to do is we need to go to the info playlist and go to source and we need to give a camera permissions okay I'm just going to simply add this text there and uh, call not that uh, that one okay let okay, let's give us let's give it this permission to it and let's build that again so this gives us the takes the permission from the user to access the camera okay and let's quickly load it onto my iphone if i may um, um i cannot run my iphone as i'm already using quick template to record uh, let's a new movie recording i think that it should come oh yes it is that's good okay it's loaded now it, let, let's load this one into it and changes to debug iPhone and select my phone and quickly load it hopefully this works for the very first time let's wait for this to finish building and then load it deploying now it's installing okay it's not throwing error and it's not doing anything uh, I think it needs the the camera access to it And there's a blank screen let's see what is happening here okay we have not made uh, our window as a visible so let's see if that changes anything window dot make key and visible okay that's good and let's build um let's run it again wait for it and it's loading yes it's loaded now and let's hopefully it doesn't crash and yes we have our spear available on the screen now as you can see you can see it now and we can go up and down and around it we can have our very fast AR app ready thanks for watching this video I hope you have a good day